The Merck Diabetes Capacity Advancement Program was a great initiative and a great success. It really inspired and motivated all of these medical students to consider diabetes as an epidemic and indulge ourselves in the research to bring about better treatments for diabetes. Now, if you've ever been to a small cafe around here and ordered tea, you would know how much sugar they include in just this much of a cup of tea. So I would suggest the local authorities to have regular inspections in the restaurants and cafes around here in Dubai to check not just the caloric values of the foods and drinks they supply, but also the portion sizes, because our portion sizes have increased enormously. Knowing what, um, being sure that healthy food choices are being supplied, that's one way to ensure that diabetes um, management can be met. Moreover, they should even consider putting the caloric values of the foods, uh, foods and drinks that the restaurants and cafes supply on their menus so the person knows uh, what, what they're ordering and what they're consuming and hence they can make healthy choices. Another idea that, would I, that, that I would like to suggest is that maybe uh, the buy should consider having a living with diabetes kind of a reality program. Uh, if you guys have seen the shows on MTV and stuff, you know, where they show people living with obesity, Th these kind of reality programs are not just a great hit, but they're also a great encouragement and motivation for the viewers. So seeing other people fight their journeys with diabetes and meet their health goals, the other residents of Dubai are, will also be motivated to beat diabetes the right way. Uh, the uh, Beatties bus basically is a caravan or a bus that moves around to different parts in the UAE from schools to gover governmental institutes to universities and to companies. In this bus, we will have four cubicles. In each cubicle, a cubicle, a volunteer, whether a medical student, a social volunteer, or any doctor that's willing to help. And we will have in the cubicle the volunteers to check for the blood sugar level, the height, the weight, and the lifestyle. I have come up with this idea taking into consideration the UAE population's lifestyle, the busy timetable, the work after work, the inability to go and seek uh, continuous healthcare checkup. Therefore, instead of them coming to the hospital and to doctors, we will come, go to them and check them up for their health. So I have the slogan, hand in hand, everyone to know all about it. Thank you very much. We attended the Merck Capacity Advancement Program held in our college and we believe that this is an excellent initiative uh, to educate students about the various aspects of diabetes and encourage them to be more proactive in their approach towards diabetes. This helped us create a concept paper titled Every Day is a Diabetes Day. We feel that when a patient or rather a person when he or she is diagnosed with diabetes, uh, they immediately assume that the life ahead is filled with a lot of rules and regulations and restrictions. So we wanted to counter that by uh, creating a diabetic social center. Uh, the diabetic social center would incorporate fun in each and every step of their lives. This would start with uh, cooking sessions where the patient would learn healthier alternatives to incorporate in their everyday lives. Uh, fitness uh, programs, uh, especially catered for the diabetic patients. My proposition to increase awareness about diabetes in the region is to implement a standard protocol for the random blood sugar measurement. Individuals should be asked to carry a personalized card with information like the last blood sugar measurement if they are not diabetic or the HbA1c if they are diabetic. The card will show the result and the date when the test was done. And this card should be presented when availing any government services such as Emirates ID renewal, visa renewal, or vehicle renewal. If they haven't checked their blood glucose in the last six months, they cannot avail the services by the government. This will help to promote regular checkups and will also double as a screening tool. This will encourage diabetics to have serial HbA1c measurement every six months and the non-diabetics will be provided an onset random blood glucose measurement and would be referred to a hospital if the results are in the diabetic range. My proposition is based on the fact that the random blood glucose testing is cheap, easy to conduct, easy to interpret and provides accurate results. Moreover, no prior preparation is needed from the individual 
I believe this will increase the awareness in the general population as to diabetes being a serious disease and helps in early detection. Once the above has been implemented, public awareness lectures about diabetes and its complications can be started to help the community understand about diabetes and how to control it. I believe to change a community, we should always target at the youth. And with diabetes being more prevalent in the younger population now, this should be our main focus. I propose organizing a program where high school students are encouraged to prepare group projects, presentations about diabetes. And for university students, it would be mandatory to be part of a diabetes awareness group. These students should know how to use uh, insulin properly, know the proper diabetic food care, and know the diabetes restrict food restrictions before they graduate. Overall, this will help us to make the younger future population more aware about the diabetes and its seriousness as a disease, and hopefully help control it. The collaboration between Dubai Medical University and the Nerve Capacity Advancement Program is an excellent example of collaboration between academia and the industry. Um, and through this collaboration, we were able to develop a full day on diabetes, um, starting from the basic sciences of the disease up to the groundbreaking discoveries in treatment of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Uh, our faculty included uh, our local experts in diabetes from Dubai as well as an expert from Cardiff in the UK. Um, our medical students were able to improve their knowledge um, as well as their approach to diagnosing and managing diabetes in a patient-centered approach, um, as well as keeping in mind the patient's family, empowering them, uh, and how to um, enable people in general to prevent diabetes if possible. Uh, through the Merit Diabetes Award, uh, our students and applicants will be able to share their insights uh, and the winner uh, will receive a full scholarship to an online postgraduate diploma from the University of South Wales. There is an urgent need to increase the number of specialist healthcare providers in the field of diabetes in the country and through this program, we are hoping that we can create a platform across the globe.